Paul says men will be, and he lists 18 moral and ethical defects which will characterize humanity near the close of this age. And if you look at the world today, basically all of them are conspicuous. And one thing I saw through studying scripture some years back is this. Corruption is irreversible. Let me take a simple example. You have a beautiful peach. It's all ripe and ready to eat. But if you just leave it, begins to wither and rot because there is the force of corruption in it and nothing can reverse that force. You can put the peach in a refrigerator and the refrigerator will slow down the process of corruption but it will not reverse it. And I hope you'll forgive me if I say I think some churches are like refrigerators. They do slow down the process, but they don't reverse. And God doesn't begin where that with all of that. He says, you've got to be born again. You've got to have a totally new start, a new nature, free from the corruption of sin. And interestingly, out of the 18 features that call this, the first one is men will be lovers of self, then lovers of money, end of the list, lovers of pleasure. Can you think of three words that better describe the culture in which we live today? Love of self, love of money, and love of pleasure. But the key word is love of self. I believe that's the root out of which all the rest grow. When we begin to love ourselves more than anyone or anything else, society breaks down. It's self-love that breaks up the family, that breaks up marriages. The man says to his wife, if you don't like the way I live, I can find another wife. The wife says the same to her husband. Then parents say, we want to lead our own life. We don't want to be tied down with the responsibility of children. Self-love. And it goes beyond, it goes further. In the political situation in the United States today, basically, politics are dominated by various pressure groups, all of them seeking their own objectives. Very few of them have any real concern for the welfare of the United States. What is the problem? Self-love. I believe out of that comes the breakdown of the family, and out of the breakdown of the family comes the breakdown of society. And out of the breakdown of society comes anarchy. And if I'm right, out of anarchy comes tyranny.